Hey there, Hobby Homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today we're going to do our maintenance on the mid mount mower deck and put it away for the winter season. First, we're going to get this set up on some saw horses upside down so that we can clean the underside of the deck because we got a lot of flaking paint and some good bubbly rust that we want to get rid of. So, we're going to put a fresh coat of paint on the underside of the deck. Then, we're going to sharpen our blades and Next, we are going to take the tensioner spring loose on the mower deck belt for the season and we're going to drain the gearbox oil and change that out. To do the underside of the mower deck, we're going to use an angle grinder with a wire wheel on it to clean it up. We'll use some Rust-Oleum filler primer and then we got some Kubota orange spray paint from the dealer that we'll use to coat the underside of the deck. On the top side, when we do our maintenance, we're going to need a 22 millimeter socket and a 12 millimeter socket to change the gear lube oil and a pair of channel locks to take that spring tensioner loose. Oh, and also when we take those mower deck blades off and sharpen them, we'll need a 30 millimeter socket for that. So we got the mower deck out here and we want to put a fresh coat of rust protection on the underside of the deck. This is our third season with the mower deck and we got some rust forming and we want to get ahead of that because this needs to last us a long time. So where we're starting to get some pits and some rust forming, I wanted to clean all that up and we're going to put a fresh coat on that. Now I've already actually done the cleanup and I'll show you. Um, I had a flat disc. Got a pretty sweet car going by here, so we'll let it drive on by and then we'll finish it. Look pretty good. All right, so I started out with a 60 grit flat disc on the angle grinder, and it did okay, but I don't want to remove any metal. I just want to clean off the rust. So about halfway through, it hit me that Cameron had just picked up a new wire brush to put on the angle grinder. And so I ran in there and grabbed it, and it is worlds better for this because it cleans all the dirt and stuff out and cleans all the rust out of the pits that are forming without removing metal. So that's what we wanted. So this is the tool to go for, for sure. So we've got her cleaned up about as good as we're gonna do. So we're gonna go get some primer and get this shot with primer and then we'll be ready to put a coat of paint on. quick tips about taking your blades off and sharpening them and all that good stuff. First of all, it's a 30 millimeter socket that fits these bolts, but you have on top of your blade, you'll have two concave washers, which go crown up and then one that has a hex hole in the middle of it that goes on top. So concave up on your two hex washers and then they go down on there and the hex fits on top of that then you put your bolt in. Simple enough. Now, the reason they're made this way is the blade itself is not on any spline, so it will actually turn free of the bolt and the spindle. So when this is tightened down, even when it's tight, if you hit something really hard, big rock or whatever, 
your blade can actually slip and that keeps from damaging your blades and your mower deck to an extent. So that's why you got them set up that way. All kinds of excitement going on out here. We're all enjoying the weather. We got uh, Chloe and Caden are over here carving pumpkins and Cameron is actually over here painting a wing for his Subaru. Let's check that out. Oh yeah, that's gonna turn out pretty good. Yeah. All right, so when, com when it comes to hitting all the grease zerks on your mower deck, now of course you have one on each of your four plastic wheels, so those are simple enough. Then you have one on each of the three spindles on the top. You have two on the back of the deck near where it mounts. You have two on your drive shaft assembly, and then you have one on the gearbox. While that gearbox is finishing up draining, this shaft here has it um, will only go together one direction. So before you pull this apart, mark with a paint pen both pieces of the shaft so that you can line them up when you put it back together. When you do that, then you'll hit it right on the mark. So I got that greased up, got both of the U joints greased up. Got her clocked correctly and back together. So we are good there. Now for this gearbox, you have two 12 mil bolts on the side. The bottom one is your drain and the top one is your fill level. So you will take the bottom one out to drain it and go ahead and pull the drain plug to give it some vent so that it can pull air. And then when you get ready to fill it up, you're gonna pull the top one out and you'll fill it until it starts running out of that hole. It takes just under a half quart of 90 weight gear oil, GL5 rated gear oil. All right, now a couple of little tips on changing the gear lube in this mower deck. First of all, if you're gonna do this on your garage floor, understand that there's not much of a way to catch the gear lube as it runs out. There's a hole strategically placed in the mower deck for it to run through and out the bottom, which means if you do it in your garage with no kind of pan underneath the mower deck, which would be hard to get under there, then you're gonna have a big puddle of a half a quart of 90 weight gear lube underneath your mower deck when you get done. Now another tip on this, and you can kill two birds with one stone if you do it at the end of your mowing season, is when you change this oil, it's nice to go ahead and pull this spring loose right here, take the tension off of your belt so that you can slide your belt over out of the way so that all of your gear oil doesn't run out on your belt, cause your belt to slip. And it's a good idea to go ahead and take that spring loose at the end of the season 
for store, winter storage anyway. That way you don't leave tension on your belt the whole off season. So might as well take it loose, move your belt out of the way, change the oil in your gearbox, and then next spring you can put the spring back on and you'll be good to go. guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and it might help you out a little bit to get prepared so that you can get your mower deck ready to store or ready for next mowing season i appreciate y'all watching y'all have a good day mm -hmm.